Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe or share, or you can do all three. And for my existing subscribers, thank you for your support and for sticking with me. Um, today's um, video is about the Libra coin. The Libra coin caught my attention because I'm a Libra and I'm thinking, oh, they've named a coin after my star sign. Now, what does Libra mean? To me, Libra means balance. It can mean indecision for the younger Librans. But as you get older, of course, you evolve and you do not make I mean, it's much more easier to make decisions. But they do say that as Libras, we tend to be able to make um very big decisions pretty securely but the small decisions we have problems with so anyway getting back to this libra coin i asked myself i wonder why zuckerberg would call his cryptocurrency libra now could it be to bring balance to the global economy the scales we all know libra is the scales is he trying to um, incorporate everyone because at the moment we know 31 percent do not have act 31% of the world's population do not have access to banks. So with the Libra currency, anyone who did not have access to banks and financial transactions can now, with the Libra currency, providing they have a smartphone, um, make transactions, financial transactions. So they're not limited. So in that sense, it does create balance, but it also brings those people who had not been under the radar they are now under the radar now a lot of people saying it's giving um the big tech companies too much control there's 27 of them at the moment including vodafone amazon google um i had them written down here somewhere 27 of them though uber did i say uber i think i said uber mastercard visa Anyway, there's 27 of them and they won about 100 of them and each one of them pays a 10 million entry fee. So that's what gets them on board. And so what will happen is, is that if you, um, the Libra coin will be a crypto, will, will be a middleman, so to speak. It's not going to be like the Bit Bitcoin where you can sell it after a certain amount of time. This is going to be where you can, if you can't sell your Bitcoin, you can actually convert your Bitcoin into um, the Libra um, coin. Uh, the Libra coin is a stable coin, allegedly, and it's um, linked to the euro, the yen and the US dollar. You notice, not the sterling. What's happened to sterling? I reckon Brexit has got something to do with this, why the st sterling is not considered stable currency anymore. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Libra coin. So what will happen is Libra coin will be the middle person in any transaction. All these companies that we buy from, will have by being on board it will mean that instead of going to if you're going to buy something from amazon or you're going to buy something from debenhams or you're going to buy something via visa instead of um well not visa so to speak but amazon ebay normally you'd have to um, sign in put your password in and then you make your purchase and then you do your bits and pieces and then finally it comes to you but instead what will happen is with all these people on board with the Libra coin is that you you might see something on Amazon you put it you click to buy it will direct you to Facebook in Facebook, you will have a Facebook wallet, a digital wallet, where you have been um, putting funds in for future purchases. And it will take that money, it will take your purchase out of the funds that you have in Facebook, and then the, it will proceed as normal. I'm assuming that Facebook will get some kind of commission. And if you saw that advert on Facebook, they'll get even a further commission. And that's the way I guess it will work. Um, the thing is, is that when Facebook has so much power over our money, and the thing is, the difference between Bitcoin and Libra currency is that with the Bitcoin, you know, nobody knows about your business. With the Libra currency, 
they are obliged to give our spending habits to the government. So the government knows what you're spending your money on and how it's being spent. So that is the dodgy part of it all. Um, there's also the part where people say, um, can they be trusted with this currency? Because what um, a lot of people are worried about is because um, Facebook allegedly exposed a lot of our phone numbers. I think it was 400 million phone numbers. And so it left a lot of people vulnerable and exposed. Um, also wondering about the motives of Facebook in doing this currency, in creating this currency and non-profit company. Um, it is... It has to be about power. <clears throat> um, the problem is, is with, um, I think the t there is litigation going on against the tech giants. And I think it's mainly because they are not sure how they're going to control. They're actually doing away with the banks. And that's a lot of jobs. That's a lot of directors, bonuses, and a lot of money. So um, the banks are not going to be too happy. And the people who have allowed um, Facebook and all these tech giants to get garner so much power, it's too late to turn the clocks back now because all of them are coming together. And they're calling it something like a corporatocracy, which is a merger of all these large um what did I write down? I wrote it down here somewhere. I bet you I can't find it. Um, it's like the virtual monopolies. But, you know, a monopoly is meant to be you own 50%. or sh You have more than a 50% share. Because these, because these high tech, they've kind of um, dispensed themselves. They've kind of got all these little different te te tentacles and layers. You can't even call it a monopoly because it's all spread out and broken down into all these um, smaller monopolies. So they're going to have a hard time um, having a litigation against them. Um, I don't know how they're going to do that. Um, what was I going to... I wrote something here down here somewhere. Let me just write it down. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say is that we've already been conditioned to use... Um, like Apple Pay, is it Apple Pay? Amazon Pay, Apple Card, Google Wallet, and Twitch with YouTube. So we're already being conditioned to use these kind of payment platforms. So when Libra comes in, it's just going to be like a normal transition. People are just going to fall into it. The only thing that's a problem is that the power that Facebook has, because remember, Facebook can ban you you, if, if you've said something that they don't like. We've got that guy, Milo. What's his name? Milo Monopolis. Oh, where was his name? I don't want to get it wrong. Milo, yeah, Monopolis. And Louis Farrakhan. Those are two people that have been banned from Facebook. Um, you can also be banned from a country from what you have been put in on social media. So can you imagine people like Louis Farrakhan and Milo Monopolis um, being banned from um, a setup that governs such a large and powerful commodity like the Libra coin? They will not be able to have access to um, buy stuff and um, use the banking system. And so they're going to be isolated and they could be forced into poverty. Well, Will it really matter with regard to Louis Farrakhan? He is getting on a bit. But when you're thinking about people like us, the younger generation, is it a way of controlling our behaviour like China? Remember, they have social scoring. If you go into debt or whatever, you, you can't get a loan. You can't, rent, you can't rent anywhere. So is this like another form of that? Will the Libra coin become social control where we cannot say what we want to say on these social platforms? And if we do, we're going to be annihilated. We're going to be banned from um, accessing not only the currency, but also being able to buy from all of these organisations who've joined up with them. That's the scary part of it. So Libra coin, I'm not quite sure. On the one hand, it could um, be good for you know underdeveloped country countries or those people who have high inflation and their money isn't worth anything because they can invest in the dollar and the yen and the euro but for um, other people 
you know, we are going to be made very vulnerable. We are going to be under control, even more control. We are going to be targeted um, for advertising because they're going to know what we spend our money on. Personally, I like to buy what I like to buy. I hate it when I go onto a platform and I want to see something and I'm bombarded with all these adverts. I find it really, really off-putting. And when I go to my Google Mail and I see adverts at the top of my page that I keep deleting, and they'll say, oh, oh, we're sorry you don't want this advert. We'll send you, uh, we won't send you adverts like this anymore. And then they still keep sending them. And they want you to tell them why the advert isn't relevant. What bloody cheek? You're invading my private space, which is no longer private, it seems, and asking me what kind of adverts are relevant to me so you can target me try to mind condition me to spend my money and then you go on your merry way while you're you're, you're gathering you're, you're filling your pockets full of gold and you're draining mine because that is what it's about it's about draining our money and having what isn't really money anymore into di digital currency that they want you to spend so that they can benefit it's just it's just like i don't know i really don't know um, so I just wanted to cover those few things. Let me just make sure that I've said everything I wanted to say. And um, there was quite a lot. I did a video before and I got some information wrong, so I had to do it all again. So this one is kind of a, a condensed version because um, we do know that there is a litigation against the tech companies. I mean, with Facebook, I think they were being sued for exposing our numbers. YouTube was being sued for, you know, something to do with children's websites and invading children's privacy. Apple's being sued because they um, are inflating their prices because they have specialised. They have specialised. So there's a lot of stuff going on. But... Um, if they're all getting together, they're unbeatable. You know, unity is strength, they say. Um, is there anything else I just wanted to make sure? Um, I think I've covered most of it. Oh, I did want to just give you a little breakdown of how, you know, when I was talking about the monopoly and how they've broken out down into all these little tentacles. Um, okay, so we have Microsoft at the top and we've got these tentacles going like that well this is how i did it and then we've got microsoft is linked to linkedin is linked to skype is linked to nokia and then microsoft a line down the middle is linked to verizon it's linked to aol and it's linked to yahoo and it's linked to Flickr. and then Maris, microsoft also branches off and it's linked to facebook facebook is linked to apple ibm is at the top of facebook and it's linked to google it's linked to Android, it's linked to YouTube, it's linked to Blogger, and it's linked to Gmail. And then Facebook is linked to WhatsApp, is linked to Instagram, is linked to Messenger, and it's linked to Amazon. So, they can't call it a monopoly, even though they're all individual monopolies. It's a this has been very well thought out in advance, and I think what's happened is... Only now, you know, the government or the people at the top have realised what's happening, and it's too late. They've already allowed this to happen. So the banks are going to be out of a job. All the bankers, all the fat cats, they're going to be out of a job. And all we're going to have are these big tech companies who make life as convenient for us as possible. We have been conditioned, mind conditioned, to want convenience. Whatever's quick, whatever's easier, that's how we've been conditioned. Put your finger on your on your um, phone, you don't have to worry about passwords. You look into your phone, you don't have to worry about signing in. So we've been conditioned. You, you go to Amazon, pay now, buy now, you've got it. They've got systems where you can get it the next day. You've got systems where you can get it the same day. They conditioned us for speed, efficiency and convenience. And it can't turn back the clock. So now, we are all going to be under one umbrella with our little Libra coins and some of us who have Bitcoins and it, both of them have their value. Both of them are useful. But, you know, money is going to go out of the window and we're all going to be like, you know, that that program, um, Stepford Wives, we're all going to be like little robots. 
doing everything like that, not using our brains and being conditioned to do what the system tells us to do. Time out. Bye.